Hello and welcome to this session on creating a Selenium Java framework from scratch and in this session we are going to learn how to run our test on a Chrome browser. So we will see how to add Chrome driver and then we will run our test on a Chrome browser and we will also look at some useful tips. So you can follow this on Windows as well as on a Mac operating system and as always we are going to go very basic step by step and all the notes and all the references and all the links that I go in this session will be available in the description section of this video. So let's get started and step number one is we have to download our Chrome driver. So let me go to my windows first and here we have this project that we have been creating in the earlier session and in the last session we have seen how to run on Firefox using Geeko driver. So now let me just add a statement to run on Chrome driver. So I will say web driver driver equals new Chrome and if I press control plus spacebar on my keyboard you will get this option. So I'm just going to select this Chrome driver and give a semicolon and I will just uh, comment out this statement for Firefox and also for this set property for Geeko driver and let me try to run this. Of course, we will get an error. So let me see what is the error we will get. I will say run as Java application and you can see we have got an error and it is saying the path to driver executable must be set by the web driver Chrome driver system property and it is also giving us a link. So you can get it from GitHub which is this Chrome driver link for GitHub and the latest version can be downloaded from this link as well. So I'll just copy this link first. Let me copy this and I will go to my browser and here I will paste this link and hit enter and you can see we are getting all the different version of Chrome driver. Also you can go to Selenium HQ so you can go to seleniumhq.org website which is the official website for Selenium and if you go to the download section here download Selenium and here if you scroll down you will find a section third party drivers bindings and plugins and here you will find Google Chrome driver you can click on this latest and it will again take you to this downloads of Chrome driver and you can get it from here as well. So as of now let me go to here and let me see which is the latest. So looks like 2.9 is the latest here. I will click here and you can see all the different operating systems. So I will take it for Windows. Now here you can see it is only Windows 32 available not Windows 64 but that is okay. Even if you are working on Windows 64 you can download this. So and I will also show you on a Mac in a moment but for now let us download for Windows and here I will go to downloads folder and unzip this so right click and I will extract this and extract so we have got this here now I will copy this from here and I will go to my project on Eclipse and I will do the same thing that we have done for Geeko driver so we have created a folder drivers and inside that Geeko driver and we have added the Geeko driver exe I will do the same thing now. I will right click on drivers, go to new and go to folder and create a folder by the name Chrome driver and finish and here I will paste the Chrome driver exe. Okay, if you expand this now you can see Chrome driver exe is here. Okay, so we have downloaded our Chrome driver and now we have to add Chrome driver to Eclipse which we have already done. We have added but now we have to add it to the script. So we can do this system.set property webdriver.chrome driver and the location of the Chrome driver. So I will do the same thing as I have done for Firefox Geeko driver system.get property and I will just select this one. Uh, so this is set property my mistake let me do it again system dot set property this one and the key here is webdriver dot chrome driver 
let me just verify it's webdriver.chrome.driver so webdriver.chrome.driver and the value is the location of the chrome driver dot exe file and you have seen in the earlier session we have seen how we can get the project path using get property user dot dir and i will use the same thing here i will copy this so that i get to the project location and then i will say drivers i will go to this location let me do a right click go to properties and copy it from here so i just need from here because the other location is now automatically captured so I will copy this and put it here okay and I'm going to replace all the double backslash with a single forward slash so double backslash will work fine on Windows but if you take this to any other location uh, it will break so it's better if we change it to a single forward slash and I need to give a semicolon at the end so here I have set the path for chrome driver and I am saying web driver driver equals new chrome driver and we are going to the this website also I can say driver dot close and I can also say driver dot quit so I will not say driver dot quit as of now because then it will quit all the chrome drivers running but I will just say driver dot close and save this and now let us try to run this I will say run as java application and looks like we have got some issue here so it is still saying the path for the driver executable must be set and i think let me just verify webdriver.chrome driver it is oh there was a mistake in the spelling webdriver.chrome driver so that was a mistake i will run it again java application and here I'm still getting this error let me just say is the spelling correct now oh there is another mistake so webdriver.chrome.driver I think now this is fine and let us try to run it again so I'm making a lot of mistakes today hopefully this should work now yes this is working now uh, there is some error chrome driver.exe has stopped working so uh, what you can do here is let us close this and if you go back to your browser and if you go back to this chrome driver downloads path here uh, you can see some of the versions of chrome driver are not very stable and what i have found is 2.36 is a good choice as of now and you can also check with some other versions but i have seen this is very stable so i will download this particular version and let me unzip this i will extract this extract and this one i am going to add to my project here so I will add this here I will paste it and I will say overwrite and now let me try to run this again run as Java application and yes now looks like it is going and you see it went to uh, selenium hq.org and then closed the browser let me also say uh, some wait here thread dot sleep for three seconds 3000 milliseconds means three seconds and it needs a try and catch so I will just surround it with try and catch okay I will just try to run this now so that you see this running I will say run as Java application and you see now it goes to here waits for three seconds and then it will close the browser okay so this closed it so I will just remove this thread dot sleep for now okay so this is how you can run on chrome driver and if you are on Mac so you can see this is on my Mac and I have done the same thing here I have added this system dot set property web driver dot chrome driver and I have added the chrome driver here so I have taken the chrome driver for Mac and added it here and here also I was getting an issue with the latest version so I have added a chrome driver 2.36 and then the same thing web driver equals new chrome driver and then 
you can run your test okay so we have done this and fourth step is run and validate that we have already performed and let us look at some useful tips so you can always go here and check for the latest version of chrome driver so if you just go to your browser let us go to our browser and search for chrome driver or let us say chrome driver download so here you will get this github page and this will be very handy you can get all the details about chrome driver here and of course this is the page where you can get all the versions of chrome driver okay so you can go here and then the other thing is if you can set your chrome driver path in the path environment variable then you need not be you do not have to set it in the script so what does this mean is let me just show you uh, let me go to our path variables so you can do a right click on my computer or this PC go to properties and here go to advanced system settings and here go to environment variables and here in the environments variable you will find a variable called path you can go to edit here and make sure you do not change anything here you we just have to add new things now in case you are using some earlier version of uh, windows you might get a single text box where everything is added separated by semicolon so in that case you will just uh, add your path at the end and it should be separated by semicolon as well so here what i will do is wherever my chrome driver is for example i have my chrome driver here let me take it from the uh, project itself i have my chrome driver here i will go to right click properties and just copy this location okay copy this and here i will add i will say new and just add this location of chrome driver and say okay and okay and okay uh, now even if i do not set it here because i have set it on the environment variable path and it is available throughout the system now so even if i do not set the property here for chrome driver let me try to run this i'm not sure if it asks for a restart first but let me just try to run this again i will say run as java application and let us see so i think it needs a restart so here it needs a restart first and then only we can run this but yes this is something uh, you can do if you have set it to the path variable then even if you do not set it on in the project it will run on chrome driver so let's do a very quick recap today we learned how to add chrome driver and how to run our test on a chrome browser in the next session we will see how we can run our test on internet explorer so i hope this was very useful for you if you want more videos then please subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon so that you can get notification on all the new videos that i will upload so on this channel i create videos related to testing automation devops and ci and if you like this do hit the like button and share with others i hope this all was very useful for you i will meet you in the next episode thank you for watching